Hey, what's up guys? Fuzz here and welcome to another video on my channel and today let's get into a different type of video um, This is one that I do kind of like every like six months or so and I feel like I need to do it um, Based on some events that's happened recently um, Some people have, have been asking yeah, some people have been asking questions um, on my Twitter Instagram YouTube um, Twitch everywhere people's been asking the same questions um, People have noticed that my house looks different. You know my room looks different um, If you've seen on social media that I've in fact moved out of my youtuber house and in this video I'm gonna be going through um, what happened there and the next steps forward and first things first I just want to say thank you all for um, your support recently um, It does mean a lot that you guys have been enjoying the content and it really does mean a lot guys um, Thank you all for just I guess sticking around I know that it can be a bit hot sometimes because you know FIFA and YouTube and that and it can be, can be a bit frustrating but i do appreciate you guys um sticking around with me as much as you guys have been so yeah let's get into the actual video here and that is if you guys aren't aware i moved into a youtuber house uh, about three months ago with it's saber brooks hd flair fifa curbs and nerdfire these are all um guys on youtube that i've known for a long period of time um since about like fifa 17 so about three years now i've known these guys and i moved into a house with these guys about three months ago um, we've been looking at the house for months and then we finally found one in the Leeds area so um, I did a video about me trying a house and that um, I really did like the house in terms of like you know it looked big and like you know it kind of like it was kind of like it was kind of like one of those moments that you kind of realize like oh I made it you know yeah you're into this big house with your mates through YouTube which you would never meet if you didn't do YouTube and it's kind of a bit surreal and Within a very like short period of time, if, you know, within like a few weeks, it kind of all went downhill, and no one's really said anything about it. I think Brooks he did a video, um, but I feel like it's easier for me to do my own video as well, from my own perspective about what happened. And simply, um, it just didn't work out at all. It wasn't financial wise, like that wasn't anything to do with it at all. It was lies from estate agents, and it was um, inside sources from. Um, the house and also from like neighbors and stuff like that as well which could have been sorted out a lot better in my opinion but it's all done and sorted now so there's no point really um, going into it that much but simply I would have loved to stay inside the house but I, I couldn't stay there because people wanted to leave and I can't pay the rent there by myself so that's why I had to leave the house and the neighbors were being very very nosy into our business and it kind of disrupted some members of the household in which they felt uncomfortable and didn't want, didn't want to live there so they started to look for a place with uh, a few of them and of course if a few leave then we can't we can't pay for the entire house by ourselves because we can't afford it so because they wanted to leave I had to leave as well and then had to sort myself out in which um, I moved into a house with my girlfriend I don't know if you know about Sonia and we are now in the Manchester area so that is why the house is here and why everything looks different um i don't want to go too much into like i don't want to call out names stuff like that but um like that is why i moved out the house um just simply because of um neighbors and people wanted to move out and of course there was some lies as well but the estate agent which we felt a bit a bit a bit rude that you know they said that they were going to sort out things for us in terms of helping us out and instead they lied to us and didn't even make any progress there at all so we feel like we'll move out first before they try and you know, screw us over in the, in, the, in the future so as simple as that that's pretty much the entire situation um said without really going going into details here i feel like it'd be disrespectful to go to details about what's happened here um but for me would i want to leave the house no but I'm happy that I have because of uh, my new situation I'm in now with uh, a new house here, a new area. So I'm enjoying this a lot and I feel like I had to kind of say that of, you know, if I have moved out of the house and why. Um, I still talk to the guys in the house, so like, you know, like Nerdfire, Curbs, um, it's Sabre, with Brooksy. Um, they're still in the Discord, we still talk to them, some, we still talk to them sometimes. Um, may have just distanced a bit because like it's kind of a weird situation with the house and that. Um, but yeah, that's basically what happened. So. Talk about the channel and what's happened. I will be joining a brand new team network called Veloce. So if you don't know about them, they're typically an F1 team, but um, they've got 
a FIFA YouTuber I wish you may know of called FNG, a very close friend of mine. I went to um, a gig with him uh, for Dave a couple of months ago, which was class. So I'm going to be joining them. So you're going to be seeing a lot of content from them in the next few months or so. And I'm, I'm looking forward to man because like they have done a lot for me already in like the first week or so that my previous network has not done for me in like the last two years. So it's mad. And also, I guess I should update like what's actually happened as well um, for me because like a lot has happened. So of course I got a new girlfriend, new house. I've now got a dog. I, I, I can now I can now drive. I'm now got a car now. I've got a, a Volkswagen Polo SC. It's a one liter. It's just a simple um, first starter car. Um, it's a pretty good car though for a starter car. Like, you know, you could have got like a second hand, I don't know, Vauxhall Corsa. But I've got a decent car, so I'm happy with that. So there's a photo on screen now if you're curious about it. I'm not driving. So, you know, if you're, if you're, if you're on a Burnley area, Manchester area, I do apologize if I crash into you. So it's also Christmas very soon, hence why. The tree. So I'm going to be doing a lot more content about Christmas uh, in the next few weeks in that. And of course, there'll be double uploads coming a lot more often within the month of December. I'm trying to also do some collabs with some YouTubers in the next few weeks. And also, I gotta say as well, guys, my third annual um, hashtag for mom um, charity event will be happening again next year. It'll be on the 15th to 17th of February. I may do 60 hours um, if you want to show. This is my 50 hour charity live stream, which I've done every year. Last year we raised, um, have we raised like six? Point, how much did we raise? Last year we raised 6.6 thousand pounds. Yeah, 6.6 thousand in one year. And then the year, and then the year before that, I believe we raised about like a few thousand as well. And then the year before that, we raised 5,000 plus as well. So in in the last like two events, we've raised over 11,000 for MSSI, which means the absolute world, guys. So I will be doing another event in a few months time which i'm looking forward to so and getting some things planned ahead for that if you guys want me to do a house tour i will of this new place it's pretty nice as well but yeah there's just been a lot of things happening recently there's been situations that i've been wanting to say um on youtube but didn't feel the need to um because i just, I just didn't, feel like, I didn't feel like there was a place i wanted to wait to the right time and i feel like now's the right time to go into like me moving out the house or whatever move out the house and then I've moved, to my, I've moved into my own place now. This will be, I think, the fifth or sixth setup you've seen on my YouTube um, in my last, like, you know, like, seven-year life of me doing YouTube. So, I've moved out a lot recently. I've moved out to Newcastle, first year for university, then up to Newcastle again, um, just, to, just to do YouTube with some mates. Then I went back to Burnley, then I, went to, then I went to Leeds, and now I've gone back to Manchester area. So, it's been really hectic. I've been moving out so much, man, so much. And also, like, two and a half K away from um, 200,000 subscribers. So, like, I know I say it a lot, guys, but, uh, you know, hashtag viz 200k, why not? Yo, help me out here, guys. It does mean a lot for your guys' support. It really does. The other day, I thought that, um, like, I've got a speech impediment. I've got a um, speech and social language disorder. Therefore, between the ages of, like, when I was born to like 12, I never really spoke with any any confidence at all. I just couldn't speak. Um, I couldn't pronounce certain words, certain pronunciations that you may have picked up. I'm sure you have that, you know, I may say things differently or may um, you know, fumble my words a bit. Um, of course, it's easier for me to edit them out. Um, if you watch me on Twitch, then you'll definitely notice a lot more. Uh, but like, I find it mad that like growing up, I could never speak. And now like I speak for a full time job. It's quite mad that it, it's quite mad that it's worked out like that, that like I I remember meeting a friend of mine that I knew from around my like, local area in my village a couple like uh, months ago and like he, he spotted me he was like wait are you Liam I'm like yeah yeah it's like what's happened to you I'm like what's like I've seen your videos on YouTube like what's happened to you like I apparently I'm, 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 apparently, I'm, I'm, I'm like a completely new person new confidence new everything because uh, you know recently and I completely thank you guys and thank YouTube uh, for giving me that confidence to speak out and almost just be my own person because growing up especially when you can't speak you don't really want to speak because you're scared of messing up and then people laugh at you so like I never spoke at all in high school really because if I did speak I'm scared I'll mess up and fumble my words and then people laugh at me and then I wouldn't want to speak again because I don't want to make them say I don't I don't want to make the same mistake again so I do appreciate you guys um, being here and helping me along my way and honestly I can't thank you guys enough for your support in the last few years that's it that's it. it's made me the person I am today and I'm truly indebted to you guys for that and also by the way I will get a haircut one day i do promise so i'm pretty sure that's everything i need to go through and why after house where i am now what's happened in my life you know my new car and new house and new relationship and i guess stuff like that the hashtag for mom charity live stream will be confirmed for next year and of course uh, just a thank you to you guys for your support recently honestly bottom my heart so with that said guys thank you for watching my name is Vizel. see you next time